Good afternoon to you on this Tuesday. I am Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade and we've made it to that time of the afternoon where you get to know what's happening, what's the latest out there in the tropics. Of course, we do these updates daily and we do it all the way through the duration of the entire hurricane season. So let's get right to it because even though we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season, we've still got some action out there. We do have a system, a potential tropical disturbance brewing in in the Gulf of Mexico. You think, oh no, this is not what you want to see, but there's some good news with this. Earlier today, this had about a 30% chance to blow up into a tropical depression or tropical storm, and that is not good news when it is in the Gulf because it basically means it's going to hit somebody. But the good news is that the hurricane hunters did fly into the system this morning, this afternoon, they did investigate it. They found that it was very disorganized and the wind they found in it was not that impressive, only around 20 to 25 miles per hour. So for that reason, the chance for development for this system into a tropical depression or tropical storm has dropped from 30% to 10%. That means it is an extremely low chance that this will turn into a tropical system in the Gulf. So that's good news for us because it could have come our way. So certainly we do not want that happening. It is still going to drift to the north. We are going to get a piece of that moisture from it, but overall it is not going to bring any major impacts to Southeast Texas. So that is some good news. We're also still monitoring a tropical wave in the far eastern Atlantic. This one in the red because it's got a high shot for development into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next couple of days and over the next week up to 80%. So that means as it tracks to the west northwest and as it tries to roll all the way across the Atlantic, we likely will have another name system in just the next couple of days. That next name on the list would be Sean. So we'll likely have tropical storm Sean brewing in the Atlantic pretty soon. Back to that disturbance in the Gulf, you'll see that there's not a lot going on with it as far as organization. You can see kind of some widely scattered showers and storms, nothing that really is starting to come together or look organized. We certainly don't have a well-defined center of circulation, so we're not expecting that to develop into anything, but we do have a lot of organization with this system. This is Hurricane Lydia, and it is close to making landfall on that west-southwestern coast of Mexico this evening. It is up to a major category three hurricane. So one system in the Eastern Pacific strengthened. Of course, Max made landfall yesterday as a tropical storm, but now it's completely fall fallen apart. So we've got the remnants of Max, but we do still have Hurricane Lydia, and it is likely going to bring several inches of rain, flood threat, and the threat for some damaging wind over the next day or so to parts of Mexico. So Category 3 now, it should weaken after it makes landfall to a Category 1 by Wednesday, 1 a.m., 80 mile per hour winds, and then it's really going to fall apart as it pushes over that rough terrain, that mountainous terrain of Mexico, it should weaken to about 35 miles per hour by 1 p.m. Wednesday. So certainly the good news with this, even though it's super powerful now, is that Lydia should quickly weaken over the next 24 hours. But we are going to get some moisture from whatever is left of Lydia. So we've got moisture coming in from Hurricane Lydia. We've got moisture coming in from that disturbance in the Gulf. It's going to get picked up by the jet stream. And overall, that will mean an increasing chance for rain for us, mainly some showers this evening, tonight, Wednesday morning, and starting to push away Wednesday evening. Our European model will show you that as well. By Wednesday evening, most of that moisture starting to move out. But until then, we do have a decent shot for some rain to push into the area. As far as water temperatures out there, they are super warm. We've still got water temperatures in the 80s in the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm gonna go back to that graphic and show you that one more time if I can. I wanna show you that we do have those water temperatures out there that are super warm, especially for this portion of the hurricane season. And it will continue to be warm water out there. You see those water temps well into the 80s, and that means that we could still have some development in the Gulf. It looks like the current system System in the Gulf likely will not blow up and become a tropical storm or hurricane, but we will still be watching for future additional systems, at least through the end of November, that could maybe head our way and maybe 
get some fuel from some of that warm water and strengthen quickly. Of course, we've gone through most of the names on our list for 2023 tropical cyclones. We've still got Sean, Tammy, Vince and Whitney. I think that system in the eastern Atlantic will likely become tropical storm Sean over the next few days and we'll have to wait and see if we get any additional systems popping up. The good news, we've made it past the peak of hurricane season, which was back on September 10th. We are now into October and we've got to get through the rest of October. If we can get through the next week or two, I think our chances of being hit by a tropical storm here in Southeast Texas, much, much lower. It's not going to be zero, but of course we'll still be tracking things closely. We've got to watch it all the way through the end of November. So once again, we are monitoring Hurricane Lydia, the disturbance in the Gulf. We will get some moisture from those systems, but no direct landfall or impact expected for the Houston area. Of course, you can keep track of all of it by heading to the app store, search for Fox 26 and make sure to grab and download our Fox 26 weather app for all of your latest tropical weather forecast cones. You can find our follow me feature, get any hurricane or tropical storm watches, warnings, any other alerts, plenty to see on there and great information to have, especially when the weather starts to get a little crazy on us. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Stay safe.